Prostate cancer is the number one cancer amongst men in the UK. So with that in mind, I've come to Cambridge University Hospital to speak with Dr. Vincent Nunaprakasam to find out more. So Vincent, where exactly is the prostate and what does it do? Well, the prostate is effectively a very large gland and it sits between the bladder and the urethra, which is the pipework. It produces fluid that washes the semen and keeps the sperms healthy for successful fertilization. And that's what the function of the prostate is. So what happens when cancer develops in the prostate? Where does it grow? It usually begins within the edges of the prostate and can occur in more than one place. It starts to grow inside the prostate first of all, and when it gets advanced enough, it starts to go through the lining or the edges of the prostate. Now this is a cancer that affects men and not women. But does it affect all men equally? Well, there is an old saying that the older you are, the more likely you are to get prostate cancer, and that's probably true to a certain extent. There are other risk groups uh, which we have to think about, and that includes uh, ethnicity, so we know that black men, for example, are more likely to get it. Those with a family history of prostate cancer, usually a father or a brother, a first-degree relative, as we say, and those who come from families where there might be increased risk for breast cancer. Now, the numbers of men being diagnosed with prostate cancer has risen, hasn't it? Why, why is this? Well, it's probably not um, anything that's new in terms of something that's happened to men. Clearly, men are living longer, and as I mentioned to you before, the older you are, the more likely you are to get prostate cancer. And that's probably why we are detecting many more cancers. In addition, more men are seeking uh, to know whether they've got prostate cancer, and they might go to the GP and ask for a test to be done, or they may have urinary symptoms, which is a very common thing for an older man to get, and as part of the assessments, they may be found to have prostate cancer. But there's no doubt that those factors have contributed to a very uh, significant increase in the numbers of men who seem to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. The encouraging thing, though, is that deaths from prostate cancer are falling. As prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers, it's something we should all know more about. For further information, visit the Cancer Research UK website, or if you're concerned about the symptoms, the treatments, or living with prostate cancer, see the other videos in this series.